This is Selma Schimmel in Chicago at the annual ASCO meeting, and we are now joined by Dr. Heinz Joseph Lenz, Professor of Medicine and Associate Director, Clinical Research of the Catherine Balakrishnan Chair for Cancer Research at USC, the University of Southern California, Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center. Good morning, Salma. Good morning. I'm I must give you the opportunity to give your plug about issues with meat. Yes. So I think I'm not a vegan, okay? I'm not even vegetarian. But I think we have significant data where we clearly understand that red meat is not good for GI cancers. So I'll put my patients on a no wheat meat diet. Now there are issues about health issues about other meats. I'm not 100% sure and I don't force them to be vegan or vegetarian, but I think it's an active movement because they may have different impact and outcomes for other diseases, heart, lung, and, and so on. So I think there is, this is what the patient can do. The issue about diet, supplements are very important because it's in the control of the patient and a healthy lifestyle, Mediterranean food, exercise, we know impact outcome for patient with metastatic disease, impact outcome for patient after resection, no doubt about it. So they have responsibility to do all what they can do on their lifestyle and eating patterns. And does the same thing apply to the leaner meats that say lamb? Yes. So we, we do not fully understand the molecular mechanism. We think it's a protein in the red meat, not the fat. In the beginning, we thought it was fat. So there is still ongoing a lot of research, but that has been certainly the one which seems to be highly linked. And chicken? Chicken is fine. I think so far, I don't think there are any data. Now, when you look over the movie Forks Over Knives, I'm not sure. You may lose all your appetite for meat, but um, I think chicken, there are no data that it, I, I think it's very important that these are not hormonal treated, you know, organic. I mm -hmm. think that is very mm -hmm. important because these hormone and, and, and antibiotic treatments, I think may impact, we don't know, but I think you should avoid that. And obviously, fish is a good thing. Yeah, but you know, there was a recent health, uh, in the LA Times, I don't know if you saw it, about health impact, and the fish was not as good as ch chicken. So I don't know. I think fish has usually a very good impact because of the omega-3 and well, so on. Yeah, well, they talk about, let's say, the salmons and the fatty fish, and the, obviously we have issues with uh, the, the mercury. Exactly. So I think it's, fish like tuna. it comes also back on the source where this mm -hmm. fish and the white meat comes from. All right. Well, thanks for, I, I, you know, you're one of the few doctors that will actually get into the dietary area. Now, one of my patients, Gloria Borges, um, 30 years old, metastatic colon cancer, an incredible active woman, created a blog site called wunderclo.com, incredible website for information. She changed our diet and our hospital. We have now vegan and vegetarian as our top choices, not as, you know, hidden, you can order it, but you go have to pickle trouble. And she also puts in her blogs all her experiences and treatment options. So we are forcing from different sides information. And I think this video access to patients is a wonderful platform in order to spread the word and give more access to better information. Dr. Heinz Joseph Lenz, Professor of Medicine and Associate Director of Clinical Research at the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center, the Catherine Balakrishnan, Chair for Cancer Research. Thank you very much, Selma. Thank you, Dr. Lenz.